Welcome back guys to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Faroz bringing you the latest news reviews and blockchain tech. So today we are going to be reviewing Certic ICO. Now this particular ICO I've noticed has been getting a lot of attention in its own Telegram group which has been blowing up as well as others. So in terms of the actual project itself, it was founded back in Silicon Valley and New York City. It is aiming to be a formal verification framework for building fully trustworthy smart contracts and blockchain ecosystems. So the problem that they're looking to solve here is, is that blockchains are seen as being vulnerable and error prone. And if we look at the Ethereum virtual machine implementation, back in January this year, it had around 703 open issues out of over 2000 that were closed. Now, furthermore to that, smart contracts are open sourced to hackers and immutable once deployed. So if we take the DAO incident, which had one bug and cost in the region of around $50 million loss, through hacking and it was only resolved through a further fix by a hard fork. So clearly there is a huge attack opportunity. And if we look at 2017 as a whole, that saw in the region of around $630 million being lost to hackers alone. So in terms of the actual problem that they're looking to solve here, it is really being able to build a trustworthy blockchain ecosystem. And so they've developed a multi-platform technology that is ready to be used and has been in iterative development since 2015. And what this means is that we have a solution that's fully, formally, verifiably, mathematically and proof that each implementation meets its specification. Secondly, a deep spec layer-based decomposition tech to scale verification as well as being automated mostly and having machine checkable proof. Now the white paper does do a great job of a detailed overview of the platform, but to summarize what I've done is I've broken it down into two perspectives, one being the Certic framework and the latter being the community involvement. So if we look at the actual Certic framework, we have a number of key components. First up, we've got smart labeling. So this aims to understand the actual decentralized programs and not only at the syntax level, but also at the semantics level and then adding proper labels to the source code automatically. And secondly, we've got the layer based decomposition. So this technique aims to uncover the insights of the layered design patterns and make it possible to decompose a complex proof task into smaller ones and verify each one of them at their proper abstraction level. Then thirdly, we've got the plugged proof engine. So these decomposed proof obligations are much easier to untangle and can even be solved by some automatic verifiers. Now, in order to enable the extensibility, the actual Certic platform is intended to provide an open protocol such that more advanced solving algorithms can be freely plugged into the system. Then, and number four, we've got the machine checkable proof objects. So these constructs mechanize the proof objects, basically, such that the proofs can quickly be checked by anyone using their own machine. So these proof objects can be viewed as certificates to the verified programs. Then we've got the actual certified DAP libraries. So in order to improve the code quality and reliability of the entire blockchain community, the Certic platform offers a series of certified libraries and plugins to the integrated development environment for building more trustworthy DAPs. The use of these tools will cost a small amount of CTK, which is the actual virtual crypto fuel, but will provide more assurance during the development time. And then lastly, what we have is the customized certification services. So basically for dApps, systems such as digital wallets with high reliability requirements, the Certic platform intends to provide customized certification services. So in this case, verification experts ultimately will help specify and verify the programs and generate a detailed, extensive report. Now, if we move on to the actual community framework, what we have here now are a number of roles. So if we look at the first one, we've got customers. Now customers can submit programs, systems that need verification services or, or any proof obligations to Certic Platform's network with CTK incentives offered for anyone who constructs the proofs. So now you can start seeing the actual token value and utility within the platform itself. Then secondly, we also have bounty hunters. Now these are the ones who aim to get CTK incentives. So that's the currency and would like to share their computation resources. Now, due to the importance of this particular role, only users who possess a certain amount of CTK are allowed to take this role. So there is also here now an incentive to actually hold and therefore reduce that supply of CTK already in the ecosystem. Then thirdly, we have checkers. Now these individuals get CTK incentives by recording regular transactions or check the submitted proof objects. 
and then fourth we have sages so sages are the ones who plug their proof engines via the actual certic platforms open protocol and their engines may be randomly used by bounty hunters and will be evaluated through a b testing now they can also get some ctk incentives depending on the evaluation result of their engines so ultimately outstanding engines will be studied and spread by the community and then lastly we have users who can subscribe to all the certic platform certified libraries ide plugins to build their own dApps and systems with some ctks as well in order to do that so what we've gone through now is really the overall technology component framework as well as the actual community framework and also seeing the use of the actual token throughout the ecosystem. Now in terms of the roadmap, so the proof of concept started in December 2017 and things are moving fast. The Alpha Smart labeling and layered verification product was launched back in February this year and is being tested and improved by an online community established by the Certic team. Now also we've got the beta product which is actually due for launch this month and Certic are targeting 10 commercial partners by this stage as well. The aim is to expand to 30 commercial partnerships in time for the launch of the initial full product launch, which is being aimed in June 2018, with a public release in the second half of this year. So things are definitely moving fast. Now, in terms of actually understanding who's going to be delivering this actual platform, the team actually has been founded by an all-star team of scientists from Columbia and Yale and is supported by around 10 senior software engineers from Google, Facebook and Freewheel. So as well as having marketing and business development expertise to support them alongside that. So it certainly sounds like an all-star team with a strong track record of success. Now, in terms of a quick summary for the actual key members of the actual team. So we've got the founders. So we've got Professor Ronggui Gu, and he is the Professor of Computer Sciences at Columbia University. He obtained his PhD in Computer Science from Yale University and is an expert in formal verification of software systems. Now, clearly he has a significant background and a very impressive academic track record as well to go with it. Second co-founder is we have Zong Shao, who is a Thomas L. Kempner professor and department chair in the Department of Computer Science at Yale University and has been a leading figure working on highly visible research fields on cybersecurity, programming languages, operating systems and certified software. He and his group at Yale have also developed the world's first hacker resistant concurrent operating system. So Certic OS, which is basically a major milestone towards building cyber physical systems that are provably free from software vulnerabilities. And then lastly, we have Wilhelm Schoeberg, and he is, an associate, he is an associate research scientist at Yale University. He received his PhD in computer science from the University of Pennsylvania and has also earned his PhD in computer science from Princeton University. And he is an expert in software verification, programming languages and type systems. So we certainly do have a very strong leadership team with significant background and experience in software verification systems. Now, moving on and looking at the general hype and awareness, well, the Telegram channel has been exploding recently and currently it has sat at around 3,600, which is roughly a thousand user increase from yesterday when I checked. But furthermore, they also have a YouTube presence where they showcase a number of their demos and work to date as well as a medium page in for latest updates as well now in terms of moving on to my final thought so i've given this project a four it certainly seems like it's one of those projects with a strong team working under the radar for some time and is now ready to showcase its efforts it's certainly not alone within this space in fact it has a couple of major competitors firstly we've got quantstamp now quantstamp is an existing verification protocol smart contract written in solidity and the native language of ethereum now it relies on traditional model checking techniques that require extensive amounts of human effort in reviewing the source code and writing manual specs now that also means that it opens the system up to human error and limits the scalability of the solution it's also unclear how their solution would extend to verify more complex systems like the blockchain itself which is something that Certic is capable of. Now, given those limitations, Quantstamp's market cap has risen as high as $475 million, although currently it's floating somewhere at around $133 million. Now, the next competitor they have in this space is Zeppelin. This is a testing and verification service provider that currently dominates a large portion of the market. And once again, most of their current verification services are done manually. They do also develop a widely used open source framework for smart contract development called Open Zeppelin. However, their libraries are neither verified 
nor do they offer mechanized proof objects. So therefore, in terms of human error risk, scalability and scope, they too fall short of what Certic is capable of. So Certic certainly has have very unique selling points that I think will rapidly allow it to take first place amongst its competitors, which would also allow them to take a slice of that hefty $1.8 trillion market that these particular protocols and services operate in. Now, moving on and looking at the prototype, well, there is a beta version already used internally and has been launched this month. Furthermore, if you go onto their actual website, you will see that there are demos available of their actual solution in play. So for that, I've given it a five. Now, in terms of looking at the actual team, I've given that a four. They are founded by an all-star team of scientists from Columbia and Yale, Princeton, and supported by senior software engineers from Google, Facebook, and Free Will. So certainly they have the expertise to do that. And the fact that their prototypes, their demos, and their roadmap is so aggressive clearly shows that they have the skill set to be able to deliver as well on time because they've already delivered significant portions of the work. Now, in terms of the advisors and partners, I've given this a two. And the main reason is whilst nothing has been confirmed officially, I have seen mentions of talks around key investments from NEO, Qtum and Hyobi, as well as already 10 partnerships established. And clearly they're aiming for a goal of 30 commercial partnerships as well. So if they're able to get and verify those bits of information, I could certainly push this to a five because those are very key partners and key inputs from some significant players within the crypto space. Hype and awareness, I'm going to give it a four. The Telegram channel has been blowing up and since yesterday it has accounted for an, at least an additional 1,000 users to the group. In addition to that, the project has also got a seal of approval from the Talk research team, which have been known to make very good picks. So I've included the links to that article in the description below if you want to find out more. So there you have it guys, Certic ICO. I hope you've enjoyed the review. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning visitor, don't forget to smash that like button. Now, if there's anything that you didn't like about the review or something that I could improve, please feel free to leave some comments below and I will try to address them in my next review. See you soon guys. Thanks for tuning in.